When Santa gets busted out, it's time to wrap and chat. I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you are new. Thanks so much for clicking on today's wrap and chat video. So these annual wrap and chat videos, I love doing with you guys and I think you guys love them too. So I asked y'all to submit questions here on YouTube and I did on my Instagram page and I will wrap presents, kind of show you what I got and we will talk about some topics, answer some questions you guys have for me while I'm being productive. So it's a win-win for me, knocking out two things at one time. I will tell you guys that I have Saint right behind y'all in his bed. So if you hear a lot of pig-like noises and you're new to the channel, no, I don't have a pig in my house. He's a French bulldog and he is a snoozing. It is his nap time and I am most definitely disturbing his slumber right now. I've got everything all over the place. I've got stuff in my organized chaos, okay? So I have things laid out by person, like if it's a Christmas Eve gift, Christmas Day gift. So we're just gonna roll with it. And I also have a couple of things coming that have not been delivered yet this week that you guys won't see. And I'll tell you guys what Santa has told me that he plans on bringing the boys as well that y'all won't see it being wrapped. Because at our house, I don't know about y'all's, but Santa doesn't wrap the gifts. He just lays them under the tree so everybody knows that those gifts are from him and the ones that are wrapped are from mom and dad. So that's how we roll around here. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm next level sweating. <laughs> I live in Southern Louisiana if you're new and it's cold outside, don't get me wrong. But inside, I got it nice and toasty because we ain't about being cold, but then we dress like this and I'm sweating plus trying to do all the things. So bear with me. First question, I am wrapping the hubby's things. Y'all asked me a lot of questions about the hubby. Y'all nosy, y'all want all that. Y'all nosy rosies out there. As you guys know, Vlogmas has been eye-opening for me. I have been loving Vlogmas so much. It has been like old school YouTube to me and I am just here for it. You guys blowing me away because y'all are more than here for it. I, I was so blown away by the response and the continued response from the videos as of late. So thank you, thank you so much because it was hard for me to branch out of my little comfort zone on YouTube that I've had going for probably over a year now. And I was like, girl, something's gotta change. We've gotta change. You guys have been wanting to change and I'm so glad that you like the change is what I'm trying to say. However, y'all have been blowing me up about the hubby and why he's not in the videos. And I've explained this before, just like I have been reluctant to share my life with the kids because of the internet it is a beautiful and a disgusting place at the same time, right? And I do have an older son. You guys know Trey has nonverbal autism and even Waylon. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a mom. I want to do nothing but be a mama bear and protect my kids. And there's just some disgusting people in this world. And I've already experienced that very early into my YouTube channel um, with my family. Like you can say what you want about me. I'm putting myself out here on purpose and you can say whatever you want about me you can drag me through the mud whatever but when it comes to my family it's like fighting words i'm putting my dukes up when it comes to that so that's why i've been reluctant to like do daily vlogs like that because of the nastiness but you know what i've gotten so much love from it and i said let's just let's not be held back by fear i just mentioned that in a vlog as of recently and I'm sticking to it and you know what, F the haters, F the disgusting people on the internet. I'm gonna do me all day, every day and you guys are loving seeing the family. But the hubby does not like to be on camera. Trey does not like to be on camera. As you guys know, he hates when I pull out the camera, absolutely hates it. He gets that from his dad and I can barely get a picture with my husband, just me and him, okay? So it has nothing to do with you guys. He just does not like being on camera. He does not like being photographed whatever and I've gotten him out a little bit as far as being photographed. I have something special hopefully where you'll see him in a video for maybe five seconds okay but if you follow me on Instagram you guys see him all the time because any pictures that we do take I do post on Instagram and he doesn't mind that so I was supposed to be rapping while I was chatting see I'm already failing at this. So what did I get the hubby? First off Christmas Eve is our tradition. I'll talk about it when I wrap the boys Christmas Eve stuff, but I got him a black t-shirt and some drawers. I mean, my boys like to just be naked around here. I am outnumbered, all boys, including my dog. And you know what? I'm walking around comfortable as well, so I'm not gonna say anything, but I got him these boxers from Old Navy and the shirt from Old Navy. Thought these were cute. They had a good Black Friday sale going on, so you're gonna see a lot of clothes from Old Navy. I got them. And then this is his big gift. He is, he already, 
nose. Okay, first off, do you have hubbies that are nosy as hell? He's nosy as hell, and if I wrap anything, he's gonna shake it. That's why I hate wrapping the stuff. But we, <laughs> of course, we have our credit card, and he was like, what'd you buy from Bass Pro Shops? I'm like, oh boy, I'm gonna kill you. I know he has a hankering on what this is, because he's mentioned it to me many times when we go on our lake house trips, and they go fishing and they come back and they need to fillet the fish and all the good stuff. And he has been dropping hints left and right. He wants this. I don't even know what it is. It's like the, what is it? The Bubba electric knife. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know anything about this stuff. I just know that I got the one that he wanted and it wasn't in store. So I ordered it off Fast Pro and it came in. So that's what this is. And it was million dollars. So it better be good and it better work. So that was a lot about just the hubs in my YouTube channel. But I wanted to get that out of the way because like I said, I probably got 10 comments about the hubby and about my YouTube channel and if I was going to keep things the same um, as Vlogmas into the new year. And to answer all those questions, we are going to be keeping the videos kind of vlog style like we have been. It's been a breath of fresh air and you might see the hubs here soon. Next question is from my girl, Nancy. So she said, hi, Nicole, I would like for you to discuss how often you should change your exercise when it comes to building muscle. I've been doing my research, I'm so confused. Would like your opinion on it. And she goes on, she's been in my programs before. So this is what I always advise and y'all use and reuse boxes, old ratchet boxes from like 10 years ago. Yeah, your girl's not buying boxes. We reuse stuff around here. We're saving that coin where we can. As far as workouts go guys, I switch up mine every 12 weeks and I record it in my calendar. So I will put like, start new new training circuit and then the end date and then we will go into something different and when i say go into something different i have my workouts per week are two leg days and two upper days and i have in my phone two uh four upper days and four leg days and i just flip-flop them because they're targeting the areas that i personally and looking to target right now. So that's what I would suggest to you guys to do something, work on progressively overloading, which means either going up on the weight or going up on the reps each week, record them in your notes section, or if you have like an old school, like journal that you bring to the gym, record it so you know what the weight is each week or the reps that you know you are progressively overloading. And then after 12 weeks, switch it up and do that circuit for 12 weeks. And you can go back to the other one. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, but I would target things that you want personally. So like if you're wanting to grow your quads, then your leg day should be quad focused if that's what you're working on. Me personally, I'm trying to grow right now in the 12 week circuit I'm doing is my glutes and my hamstrings. And then when we go into the next 12 week one, I'm gonna target more a little on quads and that way we're hitting all the parts for a long period of time and not just like flip flopping and not giving each muscle group the amount that it needs. Already out of tape and I haven't even wrapped one present. What the heck? Next question and comment is from Frances Brickhouse 7440. She goes on to talk about her weight loss journey with shout out. She has lost, she's six pounds away from losing a hundred pounds. That is absolutely incredible. She loves the channel. Um, she's asking though that she wants some advice on how to lose the last six pounds. So my question to you, Francis, is do you wanna lose that last six pounds just because, can y'all see me? <laughs> you wanna hit that 100 pound number, okay? Or are you wanting to hit it because of that and that last six pounds is still uncomfortable for you? If you're loving the way that you're looking right now in your weight loss journey, but that number is just the only thing that's like irking you and holding you back, but everything else you're like, damn, I love how I feel. I love how my body looks. I love how my clothes feel. I wouldn't worry about the last six pounds because what's going to happen is you're going to be super restrictive and that can lead to some disordered eating habits and then put you back into a bad position that you don't wanna be in and it kinda negates the hard work and the great things that you did to get up to where you are in your weight loss journey right now, all because you're chasing a number. Y'all know I am not about chasing numbers um, anymore. I'm about chasing strong, but even if you have significant amount of weight to lose, guys, I want you to not put a set number on yourself. You need to be chasing your goal body, not a goal number that you think you should be to. So I would kind of question yourself a little bit, Francis, before you put a lot of pressure on yourself to lose six pounds. And six pounds is a lot, but it's also not a lot when it comes to 
how your overall body composition may look after you lose that six pounds. I've come to the conclusion that I cannot put tags and do bows and stuff and talk at the same time. I swear, as I've gotten older, all kinds of things have changed, but I swear I have ADHD or something as I've gotten older. As far as cleaning, mom's out there, like you go into a room and you're like, what did I come in here for? My mind is blank. And then you like see something, you're squirrel, and you just start doing that instead of going and cleaning the thing that you're going to do. I do that all the time now. It's never been like that in my 40 years of life, but now I just cannot like multitask I swear it is a problem but here we go Christmas Eve drawers and a t-shirt for the hubby now we're gonna wrap this big mamma jamma this could be a fiasco right here next question I went on a little rant about this on Instagram because she's not the only one I've seen messages like this from and it's just like ladies come on if you <laughs> if you have ever have you ever had yourself feeling a little fluffy or gaining a few pounds what do you do to get back to your goal weight like during the holidays where a few more treats are around? Like first off, this message was left like in preparation for doing that before the holidays. You don't have to do all that. And not only that, if you're being consistent throughout the week, okay, and you go to a holiday party and you have a couple of things at the party, you don't go AWOL, you don't binge, you're not going to see any difference in your body composition. The scale might go up slightly the next day, but don't even get on the scale the next day and jeopardize your mind and F your mind up with all of that because you know you had a couple of off plan treats at the party. It is when you wake up that morning, you're like, I have a party tonight. Let's go ahead and eat everything in sight today. And then you have breakfast and you go in there and eat a dozen donuts and you go to Starbucks and you get the thousand calorie sugar of the house coffee and then you go to lunch and then it's just, it's just one thing after another, right? You don't have to do that. You can stay on plan until you have your little party and you don't have to go off plan at the party, y'all. Just enjoy it. If it's a hell yes, then eat it. If it's not a hell yes, it's a pass. And don't put it on your plate and don't eat it just because it's there. You're not going to see all that happen in this short amount of time. Look, y'all, is this even going to work? Like, we might just have to put a bow on this box and call it a day, son. Like, nobody said I was a professional wrapper around this joint. This wrapping paper is nice, so it's even got, like, snowflakes on the inside. Look at Walmart stepping up their game. Let's go. And I keep posting on Instagram that you've got so many days until the new year. Just because the holiday, the holidays... For me, yeah, you have Christmas parties and stuff every weekend, maybe, maybe work-related things, but Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, that's four days, y'all. That's four days, not like an entire month of just going crazy, and that's what y'all think of. Y'all think, oh, this whole month is a wash. I'm just going to blow everything down the toilet because of four days of holidays, <laughs> and you just start eating like an asshole, and it just gets out of control, and you can start making good swaps now in your daily life if you've got bad habits as far as you not getting enough movement in, not getting enough steps, not drinking enough water. Maybe some of your food choices aren't the best. Start swapping some of those food choices out with better choices. But don't go crazy with trying to be perfect. First off, there is no perfect. And if someone is telling you on the internet that this is the way you need to do something to lose weight to be perfect, they're lying to your ass. So avoid, run away as fast as you can. And if you take and tackle all those things at one time, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get overwhelmed. You're going to, this is what happens the first of the year. This is what I see. You're gonna get overwhelmed. You're gonna drop out of what you're doing and go back to all your old ways. And then you look up and the years pass and now here's the new year and you're gonna, you're gonna try to do it all again. But if you go ahead and start making little swaps now, 20 days before the new year, and then by the time the new year gets here and you start implementing your actual program, or whatever you have set for yourself, it won't be as hard because you're taking it all on at one time. There's never a perfect day, guys. There's never a perfect time. Start today, start now. You'll thank yourself later for making the decision not to put yourself off. Quit putting yourself off for a time. There is no perfect time. Next question, do you have family workouts or activities to keep the family more active as well? How do you manage stress maintaining the home fitting and workouts and taking care of the kids? Any tips to help stay on track when life is hectic? Sometimes I feel like my home is a zoo. I feel you, girl, I feel you. Running around trying to fit in meal plans, exercise, and taking care of everyone else. I have a three and a six-year-old. First off, you gotta make time for what's important, and you need to prioritize yourself, especially since you have littles like that. 
And you're you're going to lose yourself if you just feel like you're constantly taking care of everybody else and you're never taking care of you. Uh, that is no bueno. So what I would suggest, and look, this is not the answer that everybody wants. This is not what everybody wants to hear. Most people want me to hear want me to say some type of like quick fix solution, something that's going to be effortless that puts in no work. I'm sorry to tell you guys that most of the things that I tell you aren't going to be that. Again, if you want to follow somebody that's going to lie to you just so they can most likely sell you their own product and take your money and all the things and then you start back at square one over and over and over again, by all means, go and follow those people. But I'm going to shoot it straight with you guys all day, every day because I want you to be nothing but successful so you can do this as a lifestyle and on your own and you don't have to rely on me if I'm coaching you forever. That's not the point. The point is for me to instill good habits in you so you can fly off on your own and be successful. But if you want it bad enough, guys, you're going to make it happen. So what I do if I have no time to go to the gym because the kids are home. What have you guys seen me do? I get up at three in the morning and I go to the gym before they even wake up and before the hubby goes to work so I can prioritize myself first before I do anything with them. Is it easy? Hell no. Do I like it? No. Do I do it? Yes, because I know it's the only time that I have to be able to go and work out when they're home like that. So you're going to have to really dig deep Look at your schedule, lay out and make a schedule and see where you can squeeze and fit yourself in and fit yourself in. Also, always people say that they don't have time. Look on your phone. You can get on your phone and see how much time you spend scrolling and looking at your phone. The amount of hours per day is crazy, I assure you, if you check. And you've got at least 30 minutes to prioritize your health by taking a walk, by going and doing some type of cardio, by going to the gym and strength training. You have time. It's just you time managing yourself. You need to do better with time managing yourself and fitting the things in as far as prioritizing your health and your exercise. As far as the boys, first off, Waylon plays baseball pretty much all year long and he's super active. So he's constantly running and ripping around. Trey, not so much. Y'all know he has autism and I feel like he just wants to play on his tablet all the time and I need to do better as a mom of going back and doing our walks like we were. So when it's not freezing and it starts to warm up a little bit but not be hella hot, I think I'm going to start doing that with him. I was thinking about that the other day before I even got this comment. So I need to start that with him and my hubby has a super active job. He is not at a desk. He is out working in the field and doing strenuous things all day. So he gets plenty of steps and he gets his activity in as well. And it's up to him if he wanted to work out and stuff and that's just not his particular jam. So of course you can't, you know, make somebody do something that they don't want to do for themselves just because it's like your passion and your thing necessarily. As far as your meal plans and eating and food, guys, I say it all the time, keep it stupid simple. Don't reinvent the wheel. Do recipes that are minimal ingredients. Do stuff that is big so you can have leftovers. Um, just keep it really, really basic and simple. You don't have to do these elaborate, elaborate meals. I'm posting stuff all the time on Instagram and here on my YouTube to help you guys get in your protein, hit your macros with it being pretty simplistic and something that all the family will enjoy. I've been really leaning towards that because it's been helping me as a mom of two myself that I don't have to make separate meals and they can all sit at the table and we can eat the same thing, enjoy it and know that it's all good and nourishing for us has been a complete win for us. Y'all know Elise Ellis is also my favorite with her meal plans. It's another um, go-to, but I will say some of her meals sometimes can get a little elaborate. Not all of them, but some of them. Use her little app as far as to wean that out to make it easy for you guys, but just keep it easy. Don't stress yourself with having to do a million different things. Well, we got, hubby's presents are done. Woohoo! we got two presents down and it's only taken like 20 minutes as far as this video goes. That's why Oh, this is fun. Okay, next question. And look, I'm taking the easy road with these because we're doing Christmas Eve presents and we'll talk about our tradition. But the next question is from Annette. She's asking, wondering if you've ever had to drop the bar onto the safety bars in the squat rack. If so, how did it feel? I'm a little scary B when it comes to that. I am too, don't feel like a little scary B because that is one of my 
not worse to be curious, but one thing I'm not looking forward to when the day comes, because I know it's there's going to be a day where it comes where I'm going to have to drop the bar onto the safety bar. I had a lot of people questioning me in the beginning of doing back squats because there was one section where we didn't have a safety bar, but I was doing super low weight, so I wasn't concerned. But y'all have seen me thus then, thus far, <laughs> use the squat rack with the safety bars every time because I know it could be an issue, especially with me progressively doing the program I'm on with Renee with deadlifts and squats to the goal is to increasingly go up and go up and go up. I'm not looking forward to the day either. Um, just know that they're there for a reason and that's why we put them there. So don't be scared. Just try to make sure that you know what to do when the time comes as far as to get out of your squat in a safe way to go on the safety bars. Next question is my thoughts on Weight Watchers or uh, County Macros, Macros, which you guys know, that's what I do as County Macros right now. Um, and I have been for a very long time since leaving keto. Even when I was keto, I did track using Carb Manager. Not all the time, um, not as much as I do now, but I did initially to see where I needed to be as far as being in a calorie deficit. And yes, you definitely need to track, guys. Tracking is one of the best ways that you're going to be successful on your weight loss journey. Know what you're actually consuming. I know for a lot of people, I know this sounds crazy, but for a lot of my ladies out there, you guys are not eating enough, hence why you think you have to keep stripping your calories down, you getting these plateaus, all things, because you're frying your metabolism. You haven't been eating enough, and then you binge on the weekends, and you go off the rails, and it's just a vicious cycle, a disordered, unhealthy eating way of living. Um, and when we restore your metabolism, when we restore your relationship with food, with not worrying about numbers, with not worrying about restricting any type of foods, it is all healthy mentally, physically, and all over around, and you start seeing success. Weight Watchers, I don't have anything against Weight Watchers. I just don't like the fact that you're not really tracking and weighing, you're going off of points, um, and you're not necessarily getting all the protein you necessarily need per day by doing that program necessarily. You can, I've seen people do it and they and they do, um, but I'm just saying people that are just starting out and know nothing, it might not be the best if you're trying to gain muscle and progressively overload, strength train in the gym and all that kind of stuff. So for Christmas Eve, let's talk about our tradition. I'll get back to the questions. So on Christmas Eve, and this was one of the questions I think was, do we have any Christmas Eve traditions or Christmas traditions? So I'm going to knock out the question with what I was going to say anyways. So on Christmas Eve, what we do is we kind of chillax around here. We might visit a couple of family members. And then when we come home, we do like snacky stuff. I might cook something for us to like grub on. And then we do usually a movie, some type of Christmas movie. And I have them open one present, which is pajamas and popcorn tins. So I always get a popcorn tin for each of the kids and they put their pajamas on and we sit on the couch and we watch a movie before they have to go to bed before Santa arrives. So it's one of our favorite things. It's super simple, but it's one thing that the kids look forward to. They love these popcorn tins so much. I know a lot of people are always like, oh, popcorn tins and like giving them shade and everything. But first off, I love a popcorn tin. When I was a kid, we got them every year and I looked forward to them as well. And I, Waylon's already asked about his popcorn tins. So I'm just telling you, they love it so much. But I'm going the easy route with the popcorn tins and I'm just going to put them in bags instead of wrapping them because I don't feel like that hassle. So I think we're going to do the snowmen for Trey. So I'm going to go ahead and this one, I think I got these from the Dollar General. I wish I would have waited though. They had some, is this even going to fit? Oh, I can't even get lucky and put something in a bag and work out. Lord of mercy, y'all. <laughs> this is no bueno. And they had some cute ones at Walmart after I was looking for them, like with characters and stuff. I just saw them yesterday, and this has been the attic, so it's like dust is flying everywhere. I just saw them yesterday, they didn't have them, and if I would have waited, then there would have been no popcorn tins in sight. You know how that goes. So I was like, uh, I'm glad I got these, but I wish I would have waited because I really liked the character ones. Like they had Mickey, and as you guys can see, I got this Mickey Christmas t-shirt for him to wear, even though we have a debacle at Disney World. Hopefully we'll be able to go back one day. Hubs and I are still pretty uh, sour <laughs> from that experience, but he loves all things Disney. Isn't that ironic how they treated him like that? And it's like his favorite is all things. Oh, it just breaks my heart as a mom just thinking about it. And then look at these pizza boxers, but they're Christmas trees. The pizza slices are Christmas trees. Are y'all seeing that? Oh my gosh, obsessed. He's gonna love that. So that is for Trey as far as his Christmas Eve present. And then for Waylon, we're gonna do the puppy dogs for his. And then of course, y'all know, Pokemon, Pikachu, happy holidays. How cute is that? He's going to flip over that. 
And then they had just these like Santa with the gingerbread and the tree little boxers. They're gonna love it. I'm packing this up. Next question. Do I count flavored water towards my daily water goal? So I have this filled up to the brim with water and I add my two flavoring packets, add my chemicals, my Jordan skinny syrup if I want to. Um, today I've just got the, what is it? Um, the cherry limeade by Sonic packets are in there today. And yes, guys, I count, I like count them as far as tracking them. Speaking of tracking, it's 10 calories for both packets. So that is tracked in my tracker. Yes, I track that. And then, yes, it goes towards my daily Lord water goal because the whole point of your daily water goal, and look, I could have some people come for me about this and I really don't care, but the whole point of your daily water goal is for a hydration goal. You wanna make sure that you're staying hydrated throughout the day. And this is hydration, okay? It's liquid going to your body. It's going to hydrate you, okay? It hasn't done nothing as far as me with my personal success with strength training, weight loss, whatever. It, it does nothing, guys. I'm just telling you. So don't let people fear monger you. I was that person at one point, y'all know, back in the day, because I let them get to me, but no more. We don't live our life in fear for anything, especially when it comes to food anymore. And two, water packets, guys, in your water, that isn't your problem if you're not losing weight or seeing results. I'm just telling you, again, shooting it straight with you guys, you know, y'all wanna blame the stupidest things for why you aren't losing weight. That ain't it. What you guys aren't seeing, the doorbell ringing, people coming to the door, Saint coming out, a me can't do all the things at one time. All right, Christmas Eve presents. We got the wrapping tissue in there. We got the little bows. On to the next. Y'all are like, girl, get to something fun. We're tired of seeing all this boring crap. I know. All right, whaling stuff is the only thing exciting. I'm gonna let you guys know. I've got some cute like gifts for girls and teachers, but uh, this is the only like fun stuff. So first off, Pokemon fan here. We got this big, uh, don't even ask me. I don't know anything about the fishing stuff. I know nothing about Pokemon. I just know what they like and the girl has the credit card and the, and the money to get it, right? That's what us moms do. We don't know nothing about it. We just know that they want it and we pay the man and we get it. So we got this uh, Pokemon trading card, big old thing from Sam's Club. If you watch my grocery hauls, I featured this in a Sam's Club video for y'all and he is going to love that. The big man told me, Santa told me that he was also gonna be hooking Waylon up with some. So he's gonna have Plenty of Pokemon cards. The only bad thing about, like y'all let me know, those that are obsessed with Pokemon. I hate it because they only get a couple of cards that they actually like out of the packs. And these packs are million dollar. It's like a waste of money. It really is because out of all these packs, they get like three cards and they're like, okay, that's all. And the rest of them are trash. Yeah, that, I'm like trash. That was my money. My money going down the toilet, boy. Like Pokemon, you got me again. You suckered me. Next question. How did you wrap your mind around going back to eating carbs after being low carb for so long? Well, first off, I wasn't low carb when I lost my initial weight. So there's that. And I kept that weight off for years before you guys even knew that I was overweight and I opened up about that on my channel. <laughs> People were like, oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, because I lost all that before YouTube and kept it all for a long time, even after having my two boys before coming on YouTube. So there is that and I wasn't low carb with doing it, but I decided to be low carb and keto. You guys know if you watched my journey, so I'm not gonna get into it. And we did it for a little over two years. And the reason why I switched over, guys, is because I got way too skinny, way, way too skinny in an unhealthy way, developed disordered um, thinking when it came to food, restricting so much. <laughs> I hate when I do this, guys, dang it, why? Now I'm gonna have to get a strip. I'm not the only one, and again, it's because I'm not paying attention. Because I'm talking, I'm telling you, I've developed an attention deficit span as I get <laughs> older, it is a problem. I was just too skinny for too long um, and it was getting unhealthy. It wasn't the body that I envisioned that I was looking for in my journey, um, especially when starting strength training, like nothing was happening. I had zero energy to strength train because I wasn't eating carbs and carbs is gonna be what gives you energy to do all those things. And I had none of that. And I said, you know what, something's gotta change. And that's why we switched over to the low carb way of eating because I was strictly keto before and then switched to the anabolic way of eating. And now honestly, I don't even label you know, myself as 
anabolic or anything like that anymore. I just focus on eating high protein, but nothing is off limits when it comes to food. Like if you look at food like that and say, hey, I'm not putting myself on a restriction. There are no bad foods. There are no good foods per se. And you know, eat what you enjoy, focus on protein, but make sure that you, you know, are eating, God, this is gonna be a hot mess. Make sure that you're eating nutritious food. I'm not saying like eat what you want, just eat junk. That's not, y'all know if you've been with me, Oh good, we have a strip right here. Look at, look at us. Um, that's not what I'm, this is so ratchet. Ratchet, y'all want tips on how to wrap presents 101 from the Colbridges right here. Ratchetness. I'm not telling you guys to go eat a 12 pack of donuts and just because it fits in your macros, that's not what you're hearing me say, but I'm not telling you to demonize anything. And the more that you don't restrict foods, the more you're not going to put them on a pedestal and want to have them all the time because you've restricted them for so long and they won't even be like glimpse like little blurbs in your mind anymore as far as like oh i wish i had that like you won't have those thoughts anymore when you stop like labeling food and just giving it power over you I'm telling you guys carbs are not the enemy carbs are not what is causing your weight loss to stall and all these other craziness that I see you guys talking about. Look at us, look at us. Waylon's president, Laura Mercy. That was something, but it is done. Woo wee. Okay, I, I never said that I was a good rapper, okay? It gets wrapped, they don't know what it is. That's the goal, right? We're gonna wrap something for Trey. Now for Trey, he is gonna be 11. When I'm filming this, he's gonna be 11 on Monday the 18th. I cannot believe 11 years has passed already. Where has the time gone? And he is definitely one that is very minimalistic. He does not enjoy and like a lot of things. He loves watching cake decorating, like cooking videos, all that kind of culinary stuff on his tablet. And the big man told me that he was gonna upgrade Trey on his tablet. So I think that's what Santa's gonna bring him this year, which I'm excited if that's the case. And I know Trey will be excited, but that is all the boy likes, okay? So everybody's like, what can I get Trey? And I'm like, nothing, he likes nothing else. He loves like dancing and singing and music, but it's like, what do you get him? You know what I'm saying? Like you just put that on YouTube and he listens to Moana and he's like living his best life. And that's about it. But uh, he definitely needed some more clothes. Y'all have been saying how big boys are. Trey is basically my height and my size at 10. He is, and you're going to see the Crocs I bought him. He is in a men's size 12, men's 12, not boys, men's 12, you heard me right. My husband wears a 13. After that, you have to start special ordering shoes and he's 10. So I have big kids. They're tall and they're big, all right? Um, but he needs some clothes is what I'm saying. So we just got him a pair of jeans he's wearing right now. And I went ahead and got the same ones in a darker pair. These are just the Wrangler Flex, uh, Flex Comfort Relax Fit at Walmart. They had them on sale for Black Friday, but I had to get a different size, so I didn't get the sale price after the fact. It is what it is, 20 bucks though, not bad. And then have y'all seen this, this line at Walmart? It's called Free Assembly, it's in the men's section. They have the cutest clothes for guys, but I'm not against wearing men's clothes. Y'all know, I, I love the men's section for myself. But look at this like a little, little Henley button down shirt. How cute was that? It was $18, but I just thought that was adorable. And it's like nice, high quality for Walmart, just saying. And look at this wrapping paper. I did not even know it was reversible. Shut up, Walmart. I am shook right now. I love that. I actually like the inside of this. I'm definitely gonna use that. Hex to the yes, two for one. Question, what uh, is an off-plan meal? Should you track it and how often should someone have them? Well, having one off-plan meal in the entire day, every week, ruin your progress. So yes, one off man planned meal per day for the entire week will not get you where you want to be, all right? Will you see results if you're still, you know, I'm not gonna say you won't, but it's just not the way, okay? It's just not what you wanna do. However, you can have one off plan meal per week and see significant results still, okay? But one off plan meal per day, I mean, that's just, you don't wanna do that, all right? You, you can have it per week, all right? But I suggest not doing it per day um, because you're gonna take longer to get where you want to be as far as your goals, all right? And there's no need if you're not eliminating food groups, guys, to feel restricted to where you have to eat off plan every single day anyway. 
even once a week. I mean, if you don't feel the need, then don't. Also don't wanna restrict yourself from like events and stuff like that too. So I always say, take, do it because we have this one life to live and we're not guaranteed tomorrow, so enjoy it. But you don't have to enjoy and eat like an asshole every single day, you know what I mean? So to answer your plan, um, no. Off plan meal means that you're eating something that's not tracked. It could be something totally like healthy and you could put it in your macros for the day, but you're just not worrying about plugging in your tracker. It doesn't even have to be something that's like totally horrible as far as the food, you know what I mean? It's just something that you're not worrying about and you're not weighing up and you're not tracking for the day. That's what an off plan meal means. Everybody's off plan meal could be different to them. It could be just like a steak and potato. I do that all the time, but I just don't feel like weighing and tracking that and just eating what I want as far as steak and potato with the toppings and all that. Some bodies might be like going to McDonald's and getting a cheeseburger and a fry. I mean, it, to each their own, it doesn't matter. This box is ratchet, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably 10 years old and that's why it's warped and, and, and crusty the house, but <laughs> we using it, we doing it. Next question, where do we get our workouts from? All right, where do I get my workouts from? I make my own workout splits. I make the workout splits for you if you were in the program, which by the way, when this is airing, I don't know if I have any spots left available, but the next level shred for 2024 enrollment link should be live. I'll put it down below if it's not fulfilled yet. Once it gets fulfilled, you won't be able to access the link anymore. Um, but I make everybody's myself. And as far as my own, like I mentioned earlier, I cater towards my specific goals. So that's what I would suggest for you too, if you're trying to make your own workout split, is think about what parts you want to, to grow, what parts you want to work on for yourself, and cater your workout split around that. Kayla's asking next question for 2024 goals. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a goals video. I usually do one every single year and that's what she's saying. She's like, I'm pretty sure you're probably gonna wait for a goals video. I'm not gonna answer that on this video just because I probably will because I usually do one every single year. Oh my gosh, I am the worst rapper ever. Like, I need to just hire a professional. Like, how much does professional wrapping cost? Out of my budget, I know. Everybody just be getting ratchet present wrapping. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Kayla, for the reminder to get on it and for me to not keep screwing up these presents. Goodness gracious. I mean, can they get any more crazy looking as far as wrapping? I don't know. Let's not jinx ourselves. Next present for Waylon. If you watch the grocery hauls, y'all gotta watch some grocery hauls. I'll be showing some stuff in there besides groceries. We got this Akedo Warriors Battle Arena Ninja Turtles exclusive Leonardo and Shredder. Do y'all's kids like Akedo Warriors? Waylon has been obsessed for a while and he's gone in phases where he's like not into it and then he gets into it again. And then he winds up like breaking all his, cause it's like for serious, okay? <laughs> it's a lot of battling going on, breaking his characters. And he got an arena last year, Santa brought him and one of the sides broke. So that's why we got another one. Next question, what's the best or number one advice you would have given yourself at the very beginning of your journey? So my journey is like, as before Trace, he's gonna be 11, so like 12 years now. Lift some weights, girl. Like, don't be afraid of the intimidation zone and lift some freaking weights. Y'all know I did cardio strictly the entire time uh, when I lost my initial 85 pounds. And then when I was doing keto, I was in the gym, but I wasn't focusing on strength training and progressively overloading. I was just doing whatever and not being consistent with my workouts as far as the same exercises, like switching it up every single week. It was like a hot mess express. Hence why I didn't gain as much muscle as I should have during that time. I wasn't eating enough though to do that either though, like I mentioned earlier, but to lift some weights. Don't be afraid to lift weights. You're not too old to do anything in life. You're not too old to be in the gym. You're not too old to be in the intimidation zone. You deserve to be there just like everybody else, no matter what. Lift some weights with intent. You're not gonna get bulky. You're not gonna look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I promise you guys, it's gonna do nothing but benefit you as you age, especially as a female. That was all my YouTube questions, I know. Now we're gonna get into Instagram fam, and a lot of them are kind of repeat, so I'm not gonna repeat the same ones. I really like this gold. Um, Waylon specifically told me which wrapping paper I had to wrap his presents in. I mean, is he just like a little mini me or what, being so extra with everything, I swear. If y'all been watching the vlogs, <laughs> y'all know, but he was like, I want the gold. So we gotta make sure we wrap more than just this and the gold, but this one's really nice, I must say. 
Favorite Christmas movie. That's a hard one, okay? That, that really is a hard one. I like so many of them. I love the classic Santa Claus with Tim Allen. That's one of my favorite. Can you all believe how old that movie is now? But again, I said the same thing about Elf. I can't believe Elf is 20 years old. Like, how is that even possible? I've just really been feeling old lately. When I look at how old movies are, and I feel like I was just in the movie theater watching them, damn, I feel old. Like, that's what's making me feel old right now is the realization of some of those things. But the original Santa Claus is a classic. Uh, we love Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. I mean, who does not love that movie? That's one of our absolute favorites. Laugh my ass off the entire time every time you see Eddie out there and he's waving to the neighbors and saying, Shader's full. I mean, it's the best Christmas scene ever. I mean, right? It's like the most funniest thing on earth. Speaking of, one thing you're not going to see, I got the hubby a shirt. I think I got it from Target and it's, it's an RV. It's, it's Christmas vacation. It's got an RV on it and it says something like Merry Christmas Shooter's Fool or something like that. I don't know, but I was like, oh my gosh, in the cart, have to have it. This is hard to wrap on the sides because it's not completely straight. It's on an angle. God dang it. Next question I appreciate it because it's asking about, you know, trans and autism. And I know I've had a lot of questions about this in the past when it comes to Trey and Waylon's relationship. So y'all have been, really been commenting on the videos about how good Waylon is with Trey. And we've mentioned this many times before that we don't treat Trey any different because he has an exceptionality, right? I mean, he's he's our family, He is he's a human being, he's a person, he's gonna do all the things that we do, we take him everywhere with us, he does all the same things. Nothing is different for Trey and, and we want to make him feel as, uh, I hate to use the word normal, but you know what I'm saying, like you understand, especially my parents that have kids on the spectrum or have a kid with an exceptionality, anything like that, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. I've had some people come for me as far as like how I say things, you know, with Trey, but that's probably somebody that doesn't have a person in their life that is dealing with it. I'm, I'm just saying, y'all understand me out there. I mean, if, if you're living it, you understand. But this question was, uh, Waylon looks out for Trey. Does he understand his autism? The answer to that is no, not completely. He, we tell him all the time that Bubba has autism. You know, Bubba has, you know, we try to talk to him and educate him on it because there's so many people on this planet that aren't educated about autism. So we want to definitely make sure that our own family is. Um, but I don't think he understands what autism is. He just knows that Trey is, is different. He's just different and he needs to look out. We've told him, yeah, you're his brother. You need to look out for him. And he definitely does. And it's not anything that's like force. He just, as y'all see on the videos, he just naturally loves his brother, obviously, and takes care of him and, and understands that he's not like everybody else. I'll, I'll leave it there. Next present done. We're going to be here for 10 hours wrapping presents at this point. Huh, struggles. You probably won't see everything, but I'll like do a run through afterwards because I got to get this done before the kids get off the bus. I'm always on a time crunch with these videos because it takes me like 5 million hours to wrap. Is anyone else out there? Switching gears and we're going to wrap something or my sister's Christmas presents that I got her. So I got her some black like cauldron Super, so yeah, if y'all know me and my sister, we love all things spooky. We went to Salem together and she loves a super, and I don't know if she has that many and these look amazing. I got them off of Amazon. It's a four pack. I'm sorry you guys can't see it, but there's four like cauldron with handle soup bowls in there. Like that's going to be awesome. She will already get this when this video goes live because she watches my video. So I don't care about saying it. And then I have these soup spoons already. Let me grab them. But she came over for a movie night and she was like, girl, where did you get these spoons? I need these in my life. I got these off of Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. But I think they are a six piece. Yeah, that's what this is. But I love the way they're curved and they're huge. All right, so if you like that, she loved them. I got those to go with her soup bowls. I also got her the ghost face men's pajama pants from Walmart. I got myself a pair from Target. I got her the Nightmare Before Christmas little grippy slipper socks. She loves that kind of stuff and so do I. And then they had these like lip kits for Black Friday. I got all the girls in my life one. It has a NYX butter gloss in there, a smooth whip, a sun bum, like lip thingy, wet and wild elf, two elf lipstick things and Vaseline lip therapy. And this thing was like cheap as all hell, but I love all these kind of lip products for this time of year. Right now, mine are chapped the house and looking crusty, I will say. 
and I think I got one for myself. So I will be busting into this for me too. And then I got this like little stocking stuffer. It came with like five of the magic erasers. Y'all know they're my favorite for taking off your makeup and look how cute. They all came individually wrapped like this with different colors and it was a really good price for what it was. So each of them are going to get one of those. If they've never tried one, they can try it and buy it. And then if you watch my vlog with the five below haul, the gingerbread pants and the top is for her. And then also at Target, they had a lot of their vinyl on sale and they had the Elvis Presley classic Christmas album for like buy one, get one free or something. So I know a lot of the ladies in my family love this album and I thought it'd be cool to have it on vinyl. Myself, my favorite Christmas songs mostly are by Elvis. They're like, cause I got brought up on them. So I'm sure you guys love songs and movies and stuff that you watched as a kid and you heard as a kid from your family this is one of them so i had to give that to her i'm pretty sure she has a turntable i'm gonna wrap this in that reversible paper but i'm gonna do it in this black i think that's super cool if i can figure out my brain had i'm telling you guys my brain is fried right now for some reason it's, it's the holidays holiday time so yeah we're gonna wrap it like this next question is there any other family members on either side so um, Y'all asked about my, this wasn't the only one. I had a couple of questions about my sister. If that was my only sibling, the one that we went to Salem with. She's my middle sister. I also have a younger sister. Her name is Samantha. We are 14 years apart, <laughs> her and I. Uh, my sister that I've just talked about, we're seven years apart. So mom and dad like to have kids every seven years, apparently. I don't know what was going on with them. Not happening. Yes, I do have another sister. She lives out the country. She is coming down for Christmas, so that's nice. I'm excited to see her. I always enjoy the time to see her when she comes in for the holidays and stuff, but she does not live locally. She doesn't even live in the United States, so I don't get to see her as much, but she's a little young whippersnapper and living her best life. My uh, husband has a sister. He only has one sibling, so on his side, it's just his sister and she all she doesn't live out the country but she lives out of state so we don't get to see her as often either next question is one that she's like i'm gonna be stirring the pot with this one girl but look you're not because it's a topic that needs to be addressed so to stir the pot a, opinion on steroid use in women uh it's such a hot topic now these days all right so let's talk about steroid use and also i think there was a question in here about ozempic so we'll kind of like knock that out together so as far as steroid use it depends on the woman and what you're you're using it for so i know there's a lot of women that i know that are taking steroids not because they're looking to get jacked and buff okay that's not why they're they're doing steroids a lot of them are having to go on like steroid therapy because of their their hormones and because of menopause and stuff like that don't be judging them ladies because look i'm about to be going through it at some point too myself and i know a lot of you guys are as well so whatever uh, they're telling you and they're recommending and if it's working and I know a lot of ladies that are on it as far as like steroid therapy for menopause and it is definitely helping them so that's great you know they're not abusing and taking steroids because they're wanting to get jacked um, as far as like you taking steroids because you're wanting to get buff and jacked you know it's your body do what you want to do like you don't see me taking steroids but <laughs> yeah, I'm 40 years old I'm a mom of two I'm just trying to build as much muscle naturally and be as healthy and be on this planet as i can that is my goal and i have aesthetic goals but you know we're, we're just grinding and working per day do you you know if that's what you want to do do it do do i personally want to do that do i recommend that to my personal clients absolutely not but i'm not going to judge anybody for doing it either to each their own but like i said most women that i know that are doing it is because of uh aging and because of menopause lord another present where it's like i i just can't i am i am no good at the wrapping i don't i think i don't have the patience for it is why i'm like i just want to be done with this i just want it to be covered up so they don't know what it is and me be done and like these type of boxes and stuff just aren't my jam to wrap i will say i may be a crappy wrapper but look at this ribbon how pretty it is can you guys even see that without this camera looking crazy. Like it's, uh, you know, the ribbon with the, the wire in it, but look how cute. Spooky be Christmas. I'm gonna wrap the spoons in this little scrap paper I have, not in the same one. I wish I had some and it didn't leave much, but that's okay. Next question, if I feel like my hair is, oh gosh, I'm like frazzled today. 
<sighs> Welcome to real life around here. That's what the videos are all about now. Is all your knowledge life-based and trial and error or have you taken any courses? I'm a health and nutrition coach. All right, that's what I got certified in. I did my certification online for that in 2020. It's gonna be 2024, so I've been doing it for what, going on four years now as far as being a licensed health coach. But yes, a lot of what I tell you guys is from trial and error and what I've learned in my life. And I think that's more valuable and also more like street cred, if I was gonna say so I can't think of the word, than just somebody that has never lived it and went into school, went to college, you know, gotten their certifications and all that, and they know all the science and they know all the stuff behind it. But guys, you've got to have experienced a little bit of this to be able to appreciate and, and know as well. I mean, that's my opinion when it comes to weight loss, especially. You have no idea how many women, women come to me and tell me that they have, you know, hired a nutritionist that's went to college, went to school, got certifications, and they are putting ladies on 500, 800 calorie meal plans and telling them they need to work out seven days a week and eat nothing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Saint is up and he is like playing in the presence and my battery's about to die, so hang on. We got this bag one. I love this bag. It's got glitter black polka dots on it. Epic Walmart. Walmart coming for the win. And then we wrapped our Elvis calendar. This video is just comical at this point. It's just comical as far as the wrapping goes. All right, next present, I'm trying to get the boys stuff done, especially, I don't care if they see me wrap everybody else's, but their stuff has to be wrapped. Are your kids into Nerf guns? Like, it is a thing. Like, Waylon is obsessed. I know a lot of other kids I've seen, they're obsessed as well. So I got this Dart Zone win. Where did I get this? I got this from Target. It was like on some Black Friday deal. 90 foot, 27M, 40 darts, don't even ask me. But I know he's getting a million of these from like my family, but I had to get him at least one, right? Mom and dad had to look cool and get him at least one since he asked for it. What the hell is American Dream? <laughs> is it a supposedly healthy? Girl, you must not be watching the videos, period, or even on my, you put this on Instagram, but oh, I don't even know what's going on with your life. Insta uh, Instagram, American Dream are nut butters. They're indulgent nut butters that have added protein in them. So they are higher protein and lower calorie than your standard like Jif peanut butter, right? So yes, they are a healthier peanut butter, okay? But just like with anything, if you overindulge on something or abuse it, it's not gonna help you in your weight loss journey, okay? There are certain foods that you can eat too much of and that's gonna put you out of your calorie deficit, hence why you're not losing weight or losing body fat. So you can't have those in the house, guys, if you know they're going to be something that's going to trigger you or have you go out of control if you're not weighing and tracking those. They are really good to weigh and track to add to a lot of things that I've mentioned to y'all. Um, so that's why I love them is because they taste amazing, they have the added protein, and they're not as high as calorie as your regular peanut butter. So it definitely helps a lot of people if they are in a calorie deficit if you're weighing and tracking them. They're delicious. If you've never tried them, you should. I only tell you guys about things I absolutely love, you know. I have a code down below that will get you a discount. If you've never tried it, get a couple of them and try them for yourself and put them somewhere high if you think that you can't control yourself also. How many days a week do I work out? I work out four days a week. I do two uppers and two lowers per week and then I have three rest days. So on Monday, I train upper, Tuesday's lower, Wednesday is a rest day. Thursday upper, Friday lower, and then the weekends are rest days because I want to spend time with the family. You can definitely see major success and results, guys, with working out three to four times per week. You do not have to work out every single day. You don't have to do five hours in the gym, all right? Quit getting all these like so extremes out of your head. Make your food basic, make your workouts simple, enjoyable. If you're not enjoying your workouts, guys, that's when I say to switch things up because it's gonna do nothing but deter you from actually showing up at the gym if you hate what you're doing and you want to love what you're doing when you go to the gym. 
so you're consistent and you keep actually going so we can yield results. I thought this question was funny. It says, as someone that works from home, do you have anxiety when you actually have to go out? Any, any tips on handling anxiety out the house? I am, a, I've always been, believe it or not, I've always been super shy, super quiet my entire life. It wasn't until I got older um, and I reached a certain point in my life where I was like, F it, this is who I really am. Why am I silencing myself like in all the things? And it got to where I was just, you know, at a certain point not too long ago too, where I've been truly my authentic self as far as like how I dress and, and all that and what I enjoy and not succumbing to society standards on me because I am a, a 40 year old mom and all this other BS. But when it comes to anxiety, as far as being out and about, I really don't have anxiety for being out and about. However, uh, we went Christmas shopping not long ago, if you watched that vlog with my aunt and my sister, and it was hella crowded. And during this time, I'm not used to being out and about with the crowds is what I'm trying to say. And that's when I'm like, oh gosh, there's too many people around. But I don't mind people. But when it's a lot of people, I do get stressed a little bit. My advice is uh, as far as like shopping and going out and getting things that you need. I do a lot of things online, online shopping. Amazon is my friend. Uh, Amazon is my bae. <laughs> so that's what I do most of the time. The pickup for the grocery, you know, if you don't like to go in the grocery store, it saves you money and you don't have to deal with people as well. So I highly recommend doing the online grocery pickups for any of your grocery stores that you have. That is a lifesaver. But just don't go out and about like during chaotic times. If you struggle with anxiety, you know that about yourself. <laughs> if you can avoid it, that's really my only tip because I don't have like super struggles with anxiety when it comes to being out and about. I'm kind of a very um, outgoing person. Now as I get older, I could give two Fs about anything and I'm, I'm living my life and there's that. Done, but almost catastrophe because I stuck my nail in a hollow part through the paper. I mean, my experience today with wrapping has not been fun time. So that's all the questions. I'm pretty sure I answer everything and I still have a lot to wrap and it's almost lunchtime. So it's just been a hot mess express, but I know you guys relate out there and it's probably the same at your house. So we can relate. We doing this together, y'all. Let me show you the rest of what I got just because I know you guys like to see it. And then I'll show you the after of the finished product with me wrapping everything if I don't lose my not mind between now and then. Next thing I'm gonna wrap is this Pokemon men's ho hoodie for Trey. It was on some kind of deal at Walmart. Thought that was cute. And then there's his size 12 Crocs. Like that was a Black Friday deal too. He can't ever have enough. It's the only shoe that he wears. For any of my parents with autism, if your kids are having issues with keeping their shoes on. They're constantly wanting to take their shoes off. They don't like their shoes on. This was a lifesaver for Trey. We He got these on and we haven't looked back for a long time. So hopefully we can always get his size. But you guys see, unisex men's 12 help me. These Pokemon Christmas pajamas. I'm actually gonna give those to Waylon for our annual Christmas party at my sister's we're going to so he can wear those at the Christmas party. So I'm gonna wrap those and he can open it up that morning. That's gonna be cute. They had these athletic works. Y'all know I love their men's sweatpants, but they also have great stuff in the boys section. $6.98 for these sweatshirts. So I got two of those for Waylon, just basic colors. And then I also got him these Pokemon slippers from Walmart. How cute are those? And then this Pikachu beanie hat with little oh my gosh look at these little mittens how cute are those obsessed and then also he's obsessed i'm telling you guys a pokemon pikachu hoodie from walmart this is super cheap and it's got like the little stuff on the sleeve that was awesome and then from old navy deck the halls with the hulk with the santa hat on it was too cute not to get and then this avengers marvel t-shirt. I try to get more t-shirts and long sleeves because it's hotter down here more than it is cold. Speaking of that free assembly line, I got like, how cute is this? I think this zips up, but it's got this button detail and it's pretty thick, but I got that for Trey. I love this free assembly line in the men's section, guys. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. This is for Waylon Mary Fizmas bath bombs. He loves bath bombs. He takes baths and absolutely loves it. He's going to die when he sees that. And then also got Trey just a basic like olive green hoodie. This thing is like legit heavy duty and it was super cheap on sale. And then also from Walmart, I got, they have the chaps 
line there now and this sweater is so nice for the price that i paid for it 20 bucks 20 bucks for that sweater you can't beat that my mother-in-law i got her she loves like all this kind of like this is what she wears the majority of the day all right this is what she wears so i got her some slippers i get her a pair every year and she wears them out until i get her a new pair so that's what that is this guys wait till you see this this is a moo moo y'all know we're all about that moo moo life but it's got kangaroo pockets in the front and a hood but it's fleece are y'all seeing that? I was like, she's got to have that. And then we got her this fleece two piece set that says stay cozy. I just thought that was too adorable. She loves this kind of stuff and she won't buy it for herself. So I buy it for every year. I got the same stuff laid out for the girls, basically. Stuff I showed you for my sister already. And then I got my mom and dad a Texas Roadhouse gift card. Trey's speech therapist is a male and I always try to get him something different and also something special because he does such an amazing job with Trey and his speech. So I got him a $10 gift card to Chick-fil-A with a double chocolate hot cocoa Starbucks thing. And we're going to put it in this really cute deer bag. I thought that was super chic men-esque, right? And then y'all saw the video. We got a bunch of hand soap. So this is for Waylon's teacher. She's going to get the Clausmopolitan Bath and Body Works candle. And he specifically, if you watch that video, went like leaps and bounds to make sure he got the perfect one for his teacher. Vanilla Bean Noel was the one for him. And then we're going to give the bus driver, his bus driver, a pink sparkling spritz hand soap. And then Trey's two bus, he has a bus driver and a pair of professional on his bus. So they're both going to get the same hand soap. Then he's got two pair of professionals in his classroom. So they're going to get a hand soap. And then his actual teacher is going to get a candle as well. The raspberry thumbprint from Bath and Body Works and the golden Mary mistletoe. And I'm going to put these in little bags and fill them with these candies. I got these winter green mints. They were just a buck, y'all. Don't be sleeping on Walmart. Dollar Tree, dollar twenty-five. They'd be getting this for an extra quarter. Go to Walmart. And then we got some Hershey's miniatures to fill in there. Nicole, what do you have for yourself? What is everybody getting you? I tell everybody not to get me nothing because anything that I want, I usually get myself. I got a fun trip planned at the end of January. So told everybody not to buy me anything. But I got my Christmas Eve PJs are the same ones I showed you with my sister, except I don't have gingerbread. Y'all watch that vlog. I've got the skeletons on the skateboard for mine for Christmas Eve. I got the same skill, uh, Jack Skelly sock things. And then I've got a lip kit and that's what mama's going to open on Christmas Eve. So now let me get some Christmas music on. Getting a better, getting a better headspace with this wrapping. Lord, eat and I'll show y'all everything when it's done. Well, friends, that's going to do it for this wrap and chat. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't answer some questions as fully. Thinking back, uh, we all get a pass. It's Christmas. I get a pass. You get a pass. We all get a pass this Christmas season. We're all out here doing our best, right? And today was, was the best that I could do. But let me tell you, we got all of everything, including teacher gifts, bus, paras, Everybody is done and I could not be happier and today is December 13th. So that is a win in my book. We've got Saint Dog right up my butt. Would y'all find him any other place? But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. If you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe. Waylon's about to get off the bus. He's going to be thrilled to see these presents. We love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hello. Presents. I see presents. Are those for you? I want to go see what they say. This one too. Oh, say, where's your present? I want to hear some guesses on what you think is wrapped for you. What do you think is wrapped? Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards? What else? Yeah. You don't know? Some good stuff? stuff. Alright, well how many days until Christmas? 12 days. What do you say to everybody out there? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas.